Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I severely apologize for the massive drawback between this footage and my previous footage before this one. And um, I got a new computer, as you could probably tell by the new format and such. And um, for newcomers, I will introduce myself. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm trying to uh, have my work immortalized through my creations. And this footage, this storyline that I'm going to introduce to you guys is one of the is a new storyline for one of my creations known as Gigantica. So if you guys just try all you can to uh, keep up with the storyline, I'll try to be as comprehensible as I can. Gigantica number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 21st, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across Russia during the late 70s and start noticing an orphanage. While there, we see two young sisters who are going through hard times. One has blonde hair and blue eyes, and the other has green eyes and red hair. This story is particularly about the red-haired girl. Her name is Ziella Donalex, who are both condemned to an orphanage during the Cold War. And from all that torment, Ziella gained the urge to dominate the planet. By the present day, Ziella became the founder and CEO of her own weapons company called Ziella Tech Labs. Her hair is now in shoulder length and flowing, and she is recently wearing a black latex suit with a laboratory coat over it. After examining the sheer power of Gymoscoricus, Ziella finally announced to herself, If I want to be unstoppable, then I should have to get some of her DNA. After capturing the recent queen of Gynarmica, Ziella placed her in suspended animation as she received a sampling of her radioactive blood. However, there was a random power surge that disabled the gases that put Zuzanna to sleep, waking her up and urging her to destroy the lab to escape. As soon as Ziella consumed the blood sample, Gymus Gorkus made enough damage to cause an electric charge that zapped Ziella at the same time. When Gymus Goricus finally escaped, Ziella woke and found that she now has unlimited ground capacity, along with a higher IQ number. Wow, I am now one of the most powerful organisms in the Leviathan universe. I shall call myself Gigantica, and I'll use these uncanny powers to destroy Gymus Goricus, she said to herself as she started updating her suit. Eventually, Gigantica rampaged across the planet, commanding the humans to summon Queen Susanna for a rematch. When Jamis Gorkis finally arrived in New York City to fight her, they were both struggling to finish each other off. When Gigantica got her chance to destroy her opponent, Goddess arrived and blew her chance by launching her to the core of the planet, though she's still nowhere close to reaching the domain of Tartarus. After doing so, Goddess used her cosmic powers and saved Susanna from dying from her wounds. Man, I, was, I almost died from that one, she said to Goddess. And Goddess replied back, I believe now's the time for you to make an intergalactic hero team, connecting all hero teams in the universe to a single source. Once created, it would be known as the Avenging League. Why would it be called that, Jimus Gorkus asked. I got the inspiration from other universes. Seems to flow well, don't you think? Goddess said, and Jamus Gorkas agreed. Two years later, Gigantica reached the surface and found that her past opponent created the Avenging League. She then stated, if Susanna created the Avenging League, then I shall create its counterpart, the Revenging League. And those two teams were worn against each other ever since. The end. Well, I... Hope you guys have a decent form of comprehension for the storyline, and I apologize if there was anything out of place, you know? And, um, and if you guys want to, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And, um, I am going to start going back to my two-week time limit just to give you guys a chance and such. I'll try all that I can. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. 
Hope you're willing to check out more stuff in the long run. It's all on you and such. And transmission. <laughs>